locker room the night this happened. Anyway, Jake's in there, and he's in there, and he's standing there. And him and Jerry got into it. He wanted more money from Jerry. Jake's a stand-up artist, you know. The more money you give him, the more he's going to stand you up and make you want to give him more. It's kind of like Rick Flair. Woo! <laughs> Flair, he's a stand-up artist, too. You guys heard the stories. Anyway, Jake stands there. He's in the locker room, and he takes a Gatorade bottle in it. He pisses in in front of everybody. Girl wrestlers, everybody, he don't care. Jake Roberts has no morals. He has nothing. Hopefully he's better, he's straight and everything like he says he is. I would have to see it to believe it. I'd have to be with him to believe it, but if he's still alive, and God bless him if he's straight. Anyway, he takes the piss, he stands there and he's mad at Jerry. And he tells Jerry to hit him. Come on, hit me, God damn it. Slap me, do that to this son of a bitch. Show me your fucking man. Jake hits the wall, knocks a hole in the wall. Then he says, I'll show what a man is. A real man drink his own piss. And <laughs> True story, it happened right in front of Kenny Jugan's two small children. Kenny's, Kenny's boys now are grown and married, and, and, and they would tell the same story. It is a true story. Jerry is sick with cancer and had a GoFundMe, and he got out and, and tweeted and, and got the story out on, his, on the radio with some podcast the other day, a few days, a month or so ago. That sorry ass fucking Jake Roberts, he tried to get Jerry's GoFundMe shut down because Jake owes Jerry ten or twelve thousand dollars that J that Jerry would let him borrow over a period of time. Now, to me, a man that has changed his life, has straightened up, and has trying to repent would take care of things like that, would call up these promoters that he fucked for all these years and say, listen, I'm in your town, I'm doing a comedy show, bring your family by, come on over. If you run another show, I'll come by, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you back. That's never happened. That's Jake Roberts' story. He says he hates my guts now, he doesn't like me, I don't give a shit. He said I tried to buy his name, I tried to trademark his name. If I wanted to trademark his fucking name, I would have. The reason I didn't do it, I didn't think he'd live long enough for me to make any money off of it. Anybody else, it's a true